right, how you guys doing? This is my Pal Sonore 705 with an RO mite head. It's an open hold uh, offset G flute, low B foot. It's got the gizmo key for the high C. It's really a nice flute. I uh, played every flute that a buddy of mine had, a, a flute broker over in Oakland. And at the time I was playing a Dazao with a Brannon head joint. And we played every flute that he had. And this one just jumped out like a, like nobody's business. So I picked this up. I think this is two years ago. At the time it retailed for around, um, at the time it retailed for, uh, I think around 42 or 4300 and I got it for 36 so I'm asking in the mid twos for it right now, 25, 24, right in there. It's got the Aromite head, so that's a gold composite. Um, it's it, the tone just jumped out at me. Here's some overtones with it. Full and rich, big, easy to go between. to get the B flat for me. Here's some slow arpeggios. I remember I took this down to the flute center of, of uh, Flute World down in San Francisco, and I played all these Mayazawas and uh, and uh, what's the other brand Muramatsu. I played a whole bunch of different flutes. Some of them, some of them sounded better, but they didn't sound five thousand dollars better than this. So for the price, this is an excellent intermediate flute. Can take you all the way to college. Um, It's got a nice fat dark tone you can get also for jazz. So for an intermediate step-up flute, this is wonderful. I mean, you can easily compare this to flutes in the $5,000 range, in my opinion, and for half the price, this does very, very well. It's only a couple of years old, and I've had it COA'd a couple of times, uh, so the 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 uh, it's in very, very good use shape. All right, glad to answer more questions. Just take another video if you'd like to hear more about this. This is the Paul Sidore with the Aromite Head 705 um, flute. Take care, guys.